The foundation is what is the most important part of every building. It's also the most important part of every dog. Over the years now, I've just seen enough dogs, worked with enough dogs, that I have a really hard time buying into someone trying to sell me on the idea that a dog's not a dog. You can't do that with the dog because it's a pointing dog. You can't do that because it's a hound. You can't do that because it's a collie or a herder or whatever. I, dogs are dogs. And, and I think that that is a simple statement and I don't do it, I don't say it to discount the fact that tracking people with Bavarian Mountain imported dogs and all these specialties, I don't take away from the idea that there is a niche part of that training that's real important and valuable. But I do think that when you start talking about it, how it applies into the field, whether it be tracking, whether it be upland, whether it be retrieving for, for gun dogs, whether it be shed hunting, whatever the skill, is, whatever the thing is that you're doing with them, most of the time it's natural. And over centuries, literally hundreds of years, that breed has specifically been bred and built to do those things. We don't train pointing dogs to point. I don't train retrievers to retrieve. So the idea that you, but here's the one common thread that the hound, the pointer, the retriever, the herder, the therapy dog, the whatever, name it whatever, name a job, the, the drug sniffing dog at school, the one that smells the bombs at the Packers stadium, any of them. The one thing that all of those dogs, 100%, I guarantee you have, if they're good at what their trade is, is a really good foundation. And the foundation is universal. Heal, sit, stay, come when I call you. It's so simple. And if you, if you can do those things, I don't think there's one question in my mind that you can't take them and let them do what they do naturally. Now, when they, what they do naturally, we got to hone it. Because retrievers retrieve, but they don't deliver to hand to your side or to front. We, we polish that. We shape that. They, they run out and chase stuff and they bring stuff back. Do they bring it back all the way? Do they do it, you know, do they chomp? Do they run a little bit of a lap? Do, like, these are all symptoms of things that they potentially do that we don't like that much. But the, I, that's just polishing up. Some pointers point. Do they hold the point? Do they flash point and then remove, relocate? Like pointing is pointing, but we customize it to fit exactly what we want. Uh, 10 days, 10 out of 365. <sighs> so we're here to develop the hunting dogs and we do it 10 out of 365 days out of the year. But what do we do the other 355 days of the year? There's not a single dog in here that isn't gonna be a family dog. And so the, the beauty of this is your hunting stuff don't worry about because it's natural and will hone it. It's the stuff that it takes to hone it is the same stuff that you're going to use 365 days out of the year. So it's a real positive thing. I think sometimes we, get, we lose track of what it takes to build a good hunting dog. And that is foundation, foundation, and a foundation. Because this building right here if I built it without a concrete slab underneath it with thickened edge footings, we'd, we'd, it would be, this building would be all over the place because it had heaved. We'd get a lot of frost and I'd have, I'd have all sorts of, I'd have cracked concrete all over the place. I'd have issues. I'd have walls that are out. I'd have windows cracking because the framing would be off. The foundation is what is the most important part of every building. It's also the most important part of every dog. So we're all in that same boat.